Once you've completed your campaign setup, you'll be brought to the summary screen so that you can review the settings and save your campaign. Since we didn't use any of the advanced options in this campaign, the settings in the advanced section are all set to off, no targeting, or all. If you would like to change any of your settings at this point, you can do so by clicking the edit button next to any section you would like to edit. The last setting you should double check before you save is the status. If you want your campaign to start as soon as possible, or if you've used flight dates and want it to start immediately on the flight date, keep your campaign set to online. If you would rather control when your campaign starts manually, then leave it set to offline for now and you can turn it online in the future. Click the Launch Campaign button to save your campaign. If you are creating the campaign in offline mode, it will ask you to confirm. Once you have saved your campaign, it will now show up on the Campaigns tab. Before your campaign goes live, our review team will need to approve it. If your campaign is still under review, you will see a clock icon here. Once it has been approved, the review status will change to eligible and you will see a check mark icon. On the Campaigns tab, you can perform all actions necessary to manage your campaign. The Actions menu allows you to edit your campaign settings, open detailed reporting, and access a summary of campaign settings. You can also use this menu to make a copy of the campaign or place it inside a folder. Folders and groups will be covered in more detail in a different video. If you saved your campaign in offline mode, you can turn it on anytime by changing the status. You can also use the status menu to archive your campaign, which will hide it from view. In the CPM bid column, we can adjust the default bid price for the entire campaign. Once your campaign is live, most of your optimization and work will occur within the Detailed Reporting tab for the campaign. To access this, click the Actions menu and then select Detailed Reporting. Once you're inside the Detailed Reporting tab, expand the menu to see reporting options. Here you will be able to get information and statistics on sites, ads, conversions, as well as compile daily and hourly reports for your campaign. If you want to make changes to your campaign, Go back to the Main Campaigns tab, click the Actions menu, and select Edit Campaign. This will bring you back to the Campaign Editor where we originally built our campaign and allows you to change any settings. To continue learning about campaign management and optimization, watch the videos in the Campaign Management and Optimization section.